Alright y'all, so the reason we are wearing different clothes is because the gang got so damn bored. <laughs> <laughs> the gang got so bored that we had to dead ass, no cap, go to sleep. <laughs> Wake up and try it again. Like, I've never in my life had to do that. I really yeah. appreciate y'all watching the series. It ain't like we trying to down this game. It's just, it is what it is. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta tell a fact. We gonna get through it though. You yeah, is, for y'all. So, they're committed. I'm going to have to leave this game a star. To this day, RDC hasn't finished this game, but that's okay. I'll do it for you. This is the quarry. The game launched June 10th of 2022. Contrary to the opening clip, I think the game is pretty good. I had a lot of fun playing it, but it does have a super slow start, which some creators didn't like. I mean, as you saw, RDC says the game is boring and they didn't finish it. And it's been two months later. They, in a recent video, they promised to finish it if they reach a light goal. I don't think they're going to do it. If you watch Brit Brittany's playthrough, I don't know why I'm trying to pronounce that different. If you watch Brittany's playthrough, you can see and hear how disinterested Burleazy is in playing the game and even in this video i'm gonna summarize the first half of the game i actually i'm gonna summarize a lot of it or um, since the first two hours of the game and actually a lot of the game is rather insignificant if you aren't into the whole camp love story thing but with that being said welcome to the fourth day of fox Mesa series where i will be uploading and streaming every day of december the quarry has this movie feature where the ai plays the game and you just watch and today i'm going to be exploring this feature and see if the ai does better than me and just to see the goofy shit that goes on while also talking about the game and some of its lore and this that and the third but now that we explained all of that it is time to get into the quarry all right i just set up the characters we're gonna be doing the you know what i'm saying the movie more version of the quarry and whatnot you know what i'm saying now if you you can either choose to where everyone set it to where the ai makes decisions where everyone lives everyone dies or you could do director's cut to where you set the characters to behave a certain way i assigned them traits that i felt like they had during our regular playthrough and whatnot so each character will behave uh basically to their personalities the best way that i could set it so i'm really interested to see how this would go but before we get into the freaking uh post commentary of the you know more boring parts i want to talk about some behind the scenes things that i found out i'll put out more as i go but uh hold on my eye is giving me a freaking run for my money right now hold on all right we're back but um basically okay so i was i watched uh like five different playthroughs i watched uh rdc do it they didn't finish i watched Brittany and uh burleazy play it i watched uh dashi cory kenshin i watched the story explained video on this i watched a gaming sense video on this and a lot of stuff i also was doing a little research on the game to kind of look up some stuff to see what was going on on about some stuff during my actual playthrough and i found out the characters are motion captured now if you don't know what motion capture is basically motion capture is where they put you in a room and whatnot and they take a bunch of pictures of you from every single angle and then they can use those pictures to make basically a carbon copy of you in the game and then you can put on this suit and you can basically use that to like make the movements of your character it's really freaking cool i i love it so basically with that being said that means that the characters in this game aren't drawn or animated they're literally carbon copies of a real person in real life so with that being said a lot of people found out um i looked at a lot of playthroughs and people immediately off rip realized that caitlin was brenda song i didn't really watch uh zach and cody i watched a little bit of sweet life on deck i can't remember if she was there or not but uh yeah everybody oh she caught that motherfucker but everybody knew that that was brenda song and everybody was raving about brenda song but uh i was more concerned about abby because to me abby is clearly the hottest girl of the game right and I, I was like okay i'm very curious to see who was motion captured for abby dude abby has five million followers on instagram five million i'm one of them and you know what i think she 
she deserves every single one of them but as for more fun facts uh i'll remember them as i go i think oh freaking the dude that's motion captured for i also looked up uh, the mo dude motion captured for bobby bobby's big ass bobby's big ass is like some wrestler dude so there's you know when bobby show up that's a real person everyone you see in here is a motion captured real person now i don't know how they motion captured laura's neck okay it'd be bugging out during this whole thing but we assign them i'm gonna narrate over the over the uh you know what i'm saying the beginning of it because it's kind of boring unless something funny happens i'll throw in some clips of me reacting to the funny shit happen but i just thought it was crazy that everybody and their mama was raving about brenda's song and little did we know abby has five million fucking followers crazy also uh i can't remember i think emma had like 250 i don't know i can't remember i didn't care i was just absolutely blown because i thought like she would be the least popular character in the game nope probably the most all right let's turn this out though and see what's going on here you know now that I, oh yeah how many of y'all noticed uh the hag in the back seat i barely did Okay, he used the- I have not seen anybody mess that up and hit the stump there. Alright, let's see how this goes. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? Bro, I don't understand no, how no, people Max, thought bear. Th these were bears at all was that was person. nowhere near the size of a bear Lord, are you serious do you think we had a person i don't know i mean it was really cl close like really close but maybe we didn't i really hope i set him to clumsy in conversation what the f was that really do you think it was a person bro what looks like that what do you got going what is it Yo, they made her look like she got a crazy overbite. Did he hit it? Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I think everybody snooped through the stuff. I wonder if it's gonna show us the prompts and things of that nature. Are they gonna show her walking around, or is it just gonna? It's not so bad. Okay. My mom's gonna kill me. Oh, she didn't. Oh, that's your mama's car, Max. Max. Okay, so it just skips the walking around, just cuts straight to the stuff. Oh, she doesn't go through his shit. So I wonder how it's gonna play on the uh, next yeah. in the scene. Okay, 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 Do you okay. Need yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. Yeah. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old... Oh, Laura is... Hold on, I forgot. I forgot what she Maybe was. better than here. Fuck. She's something. <laughs> she was something cool. I looked it up. I think she's Canadian or something. She's something cool. Is is being Canadian cool? No, she's British or Where English. She's something. Just over here. So, one of the island Just ones. Stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. How do I go from Canadian to what? British? Not the boss of me. I just don't want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, it better not be. I, I'm Damn. sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a second, okay? okay? Yes. Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? Yeah, they're gonna okay. argue a little bit. They could be hurt. I'm gonna go check it out. Somebody else put it... Oh, it does show her walking around, okay. Somebody pointed out how odd it was that you thought you hit somebody, right, in the road, but you go into the woods to go, like... And instead of checking on the person that Good you idea, hit Laura. in the road, so she's like, oh, let me go in the woods to see if somebody's hurt. And it's like, wouldn't somebody hurt in the woods be calling out for help? Why are you, why are you trying to be a fucking superhero? Come on, Laura. 
Admittedly, she's looking a lot better in the fucking movie mode than she did in the actual game. They did it. I don't know if they. Maybe it's because they have to render you walking around and shit like that, or maybe it's the camera angles. But they're doing all her. Damn, Max. I don't, I don't know about y'all, but they were showing a little too much chest on Max. I, I'm glad he at least didn't have a whole bunch of chest hair. All right, let's see if she finds some stuff. But they're going to argue because she's very antagonistic. So I set her conversation to be style to be antagonistic. I didn't find that in the first one. I might just leave this all in, just be a long ass episode, <laughs> put some chapters in it. Nah, this part I might leave in, but we gonna commentate over the first camp part. Yo, she finding everything. I missed all this. Oh wait, I don't think I played as Laura. Yikes. No, I didn't. I, I don't think was Laura my character. I can't remember. This is too weird. Yo, she found the cage and everything. What's crazy about that is if you. Yeah, we'll bring it up. Oh, is this when the Silas happens? No. Yo, what time of year is this? She looks like she in a place that's cold. She just got the crop top long sleeve. That's so confusing. Did y'all see that? I didn't notice that when we first uh, played either. Crazy how she got an iPhone, but there's no service out here, bro. She got cricket. She should have upgraded to Verizon. They wouldn't Where be in the situation. You? you went to go help somebody in the woods. And now you're screaming out. Where are you? Come on, cuz. Silas. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't dropped that iPhone. No, <laughs> no matter how scared she get. Keep that iPhone on deck. Why did they make it to where you watch it? You get to watch it, but... Ooh, is she gonna miss this? Okay, weave. You can watch it, but it'll dim your screen because you're inactive. It's like, I can't press buttons. We're watching the food. You know, it's a movie. So y'all see the screen get dim, that's why. Max? And then Max is just not at the car mysteriously. Max? Go fucking jump Max? Hey, hey, why are you shouting? Why did you go out in the woods? What? Oh, what the fuck? Was that there the, every time? What the hell was that? You know, I thought Grandma was a little taller. Car. Now. Yeah. Now. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. If these characters were motion crafted, oh, that old hag was in a couple of popular movies. Did I didn't see no, any of them, talking. but she's in a couple of them. She's pretty famous. So wait, if they motion captured everybody, whose old ass is Jedediah? Come on! Oh god, I thought you said you checked it! I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, <laughs> but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max! I'm freaking the fuck out! It was probably just an animal or no, something! No, it wasn't an animal! You didn't see it! It was a woman! Lord, or this isn't helping, alright? Go! There we go! We're good! See? Please just get us out of here. Okay. W couple. I'm trying. I'm trying. That shit sounds powerful. What? You hear that shit? The fucking the <laughs> 500 horsepower Jeez. station. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Emotionally. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened? Looks like he just sniffed the hood. Just the fuck's going on here? <laughs> yeah, um, oh my uh, Well, we were just driving, and it's really, really dark out here. And, um, Obviously. I don't know, we, we must have had like a, a pothole or something because we swerved and now here we are. I mean, I'm, these roads are really not in great shape. Yeah. Sir? Keep the car running. 
Sir? Yeah, he got that all-wheel like drive all escort car, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. This is my first With cop. the tow cables. What, like uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Doesn't mean you never... You never got a speeding ticket? That's a long-ass ca... Ooh, oh, maybe... The jump cuts are a little bit of a time skip. There we go. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Tinder. We were just taking in the sights, officer. Is that a crime? Ma'am, I'm going to take it by the tone of your voice that you were unaware that this is an open season hunting zone until tomorrow. Mmm. Oh, shit. Uh, no, didn't know that. <laughs> we were kind of lost, actually. I think it'll What is your them, intended though. destination? We're headed up to Hackett's Quarry. Mmm. Mm. Not the camp. It's a free place to stay, so, yeah. Why you gotta be so mysterious about it? I'm not gonna it, make it to Haggett's quarry. Just tell him, yo, you can't. You not gotta tonight. go to the hotel, bro. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? With that is due order. respect, sir. Why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't Damn. understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Why? Officer, she that doing? escalated quickly. Ma'am, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind stepping quickly. out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. Okay. Okay. So, we... Why'd they add here. that nasty-ass touch to it, though? Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Oh, that's I where. I was like, yo, he pointed to nothing. Make sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. What's going on with his pupils? Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Don't you need like Have a stable? Have a good night. <laughs> no, bitch. <laughs> the Charger Impala Hybrid. Oh, no, 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 no. They don't get Impalas. What was that thing called? Was it a Taurus? What is it? The Ford. Fuck. Why is this guy just sitting there? It's gonna there? bother me until I figure it out. I know the name Thanks of it. Thanks for all your help, though. Back there. What is that supposed to mean? You were shaking like a broken washing machine. I could have used a little backup. I mean, he clearly likes you better. Crown Victoria. Well, That's the I'm name of it. Very likable. We noticed. All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. She got crazy that? memory if she can remember a two-second like prompt. <laughs> very slick. Like three minutes later. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Yes. Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. 
Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. <laughs> Fun Seriously, fact, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I 20 is debatable. Easy. I, I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay, we're done here. He just <laughs> openly tells his girlfriend he's in the MILFs. That's crazy. I'm surprised she didn't try to fight him. I would have gotten fought. Heck, is Corey is green. You know what? Some you gotta be kidding. They There's got nobody here. here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually yeah. even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's Both. the difference? This, this is the difference. Fun fact, the reason why Mr. Hackett never got the fucking message is Hello? because he has a he did, he has a regular telephone. Yes, he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed he to know that? He has a fucking dial phone, right? That, that thing doesn't get fucking voicemails. I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll beat the car. Max, come on. Max, don't oh, be like, a dick. I'm fuck. sorry. I'm sorry. At that point, just keep walking, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's bro, get your ass in the car. Explore. Damn. I set her to vigilant. Now she's gonna fucking find all the collectibles. All the fucking terror cards. Bitch is gonna find the Easter eggs. <laughs> Collector's items. Fine. She's about to 100% the game. <laughs> what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Fucking guitar riff. Da -da -da. Fuck is he doing in the hey, car? You ready to roll? What is he doing on his phone? He doesn't have service. The fuck he just downloaded TikTok videos? Like what is he doing? There we go, this is where it gets interesting. Again. She has green eyes. Hey. Hey, are you okay? That is a trait. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get some help. <laughs> Someone, I think it was gaming says so pointed out. You see somebody locked in the basement, Max. right? Well, it's locked from Max, the outside. Max, get over here. So it's like he couldn't have locked himself in it. There's somebody and in the bunker. All, I think they might somebody's be Somebody's locked in the basement, huh? moving around, and they're Max? not I, begging I don't know. for help. Bring some tools they, they, so they they kinda, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know, you just said tools. Is this where they Why normally they just bring... walk them? Because if you know... Look, there's someone in there. If you know what's uh, going on here, they normally keep them... I'm not seeing Or at least no, look, this one I'm in looking, another place. So why is he here? There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay. Why is so, your stomach dirty? Max, why are you sweating so hard? All you did was drive the street. You sure? Okay, maybe, maybe he got that from fixing the car. Yeah. She was just walking. Somebody pointed out some Damn. science shit about how that shouldn't work. I don't know nothing about it, so I ain't You need a hand? It. Yeah. You know, I just said something. What's up with this mysterious red light they keep putting everywhere? You've seen the evil dad, right? Hello? So, Ian, uh, in a few playthroughs, I think it was... Oh, I think I watched your Rage play this, too. Him is Scum TK. But some of them asked, who the fuck was Ian? That's Ian. He was a sheep. Which, most Max? of us would not have found anything to figure that out. Like, it, nobody ever mentions the fucking the, the sheep at all. Like, it, it's a... You gotta find the evidence thing for it. Like, it which is crazy. 
that the fucking thing gets eaten alive and nobody says a word about it. Swear. Hey. Wouldn't that thing It's been kind of a night, you know? No. Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... That shit got me! Max! Lord, the fuck are you doing? Oh, I know that shit hurt. Max! That shit's stinging. His ears like this what? Yep. Oh. <laughs> What's the AI finna do? Finna leave that dude? I think I'm leaving a lot. <laughs> oh no, nah, she rhymed for her nigga. Come on, Max. <laughs> You still owe me campfire <laughs> stories, <laughs> fucking s'mores, and graham crackers. Laura, you gotta be stronger than that, dragon. Bro, Max, help. You got hit in the shoulder, bro. Yo, your fucking legs work. She's, she doesn't notice the fucking light shining. That light bright as hell. She got his high beams on, ain't it? Is she wearing earplugs? No! The fuck did he get dragged by? Stick. Yep. How come the thing didn't just eat him? It yanked him. Maybe he's fighting it. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? Where were you like five minutes ago? Put your hat back on your hairline. Your hairline, go. Oh, All right, now let's pick up the pace. Chapter one, Hackett's Quarry Forever. This chap chapter aims to show off the characters and their personalities, and you learn a lot of surface level stuff about them, but it's not enough to get you really invested into the characters whatsoever. Nonetheless, the chapter starts with Jacob getting pressed by Caitlyn. We find out that he and Emma broke up, and he's in denial about it. As the game goes on, you can see him get more and more uncomfortable with the fact that it's over. I can see why. Jacob gets the bags and we, whoa, all we learn from this scene is not only is uh, did Jacob get dumped, but besides his frat boy jock like appearance, he's kind of a loser in the punching bag of the group. And it's okay, Jacob, at least you have a killer V-line. Skipping, skipping to the most important part of the scene, Jacob does, decides to disable the van so he can get an extra few hours or an extra night with Emma. <laughs> But if your shit blows and then you turn the car and spray gas all over it, you're juiced. Leans around the car. What do you choose? Takes the rotor arm. Smart man. Come on with me, buddy. Ugh. I'll put you right back tomorrow. Jake chooses the lesser of two evils by stealing the rotor arm, which in theory is a few minutes minute fix, but that doesn't matter as one, you're locked into disabling the van, which isn't too bad of a forced decision because if he doesn't disable the van, you don't have a game. And two, the van is fucked no matter what. Like no matter what you choose, you can't fix it. Another surprising thing is that when you if you choose to break the fuel pump, which is what I did, it's kind of noisy. And I can't remember correctly if it sprays something or not, but besides that, Caitlin is completely oblivious to something going away literally like six steps away from her. Now we transition to two of my more favorite characters, Abby and Emma. This cutscene is pointless. I just wanted to point them out because I think Abby's cute. In transition, everyone huddled behind the van for one last goodbye conversation, and this would be a good time to see how everyone interacts, but everyone acts super awkward outside of, you know, their normal pairs like Dylan and Nick and Abby and Emma, but, oh yeah, and Bully and Jacob, which is pretty realistic, so I won't make a big deal out of it. But one thing Gaming has pointed out that I won't let go is this. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast actually oh podcast nice that's cool what's it about yeah what's it about is it about me you think i was listening to a podcast 
about you. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was What's a podcast is, called is How to Look and Smell true. Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I want you to remember this conversation here. Please. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Damn. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. You think? She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Before the chapter ends, there's one thing in game that no one else points out is this interaction so uh chris I i'm actually glad we got a moment to talk uh uh-oh uh i'm not fired am i <laughs> no, no it's um it's just you know about the whole thing w with the hold that thought partner i'm gonna have to take this oh yeah okay oh uh, sorry Hello. So later in the game, wait, no, 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 no. I, oh, I gotta wait a second. Is he gonna listen to the door? Everybody did. Did we get some cool? Sucks about the whole people dying thing. That's cool. I'm sorry, but you're the one trying to make it about ghosts and shit. Right. Speaking of, this is where the reports come in. People claim to hear the sound of burning trees and the pain. Hmm. I could have learned some shit if I actually like my business. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. I oh, thought he was hand. bigger. Looking for the keys? Like fatter. Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. Better get your resident camp. Anyway, for kids, you were asking me get that stress oh, weight off. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do, right? Y you know, so, uh, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? So nobody really pointed this out. But later Dang in the it. game, he's like, oh, I know Mr. H very well. He looks out for me and stuff you know like that. He gave me, me advice. Trying to run a successful summer camp. Still trying and to make up for the losses from last year. Here's the thing. It's like, just from that interaction, it seems like Mr. H doesn't give a fuck about Ryan. He just asked him a really personal, very important life question. And he's just like, I don't know. Family's important, Ryan. Like, he, he didn't... You know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't help him at all. He doesn't give a fuck. Look at this. He comes to him and says, hey, I need advice. Should I go to school or should I stay to take care of my family? And he's like, you want to know what's important to me, Ryan? Trying to run a successful camp. And he, the rest of the fucking game, he is going to be white knighting for this dude for six fucking hours. Six hours we have to hear this man white knight for Mr. H. Because... Because he said, and I quote, I don't know, family matters. He could have got that advice from Emma. He does a white knight for her. Like, I, I don't fucking get it, bro. I don't. I, stupid. I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. So after that rant, Mr. H finds his keys, but la di da, the van doesn't work. Long story medium, he tells them to stay inside and he ditches them for the night. Dylan sees this as an opportunity to try to get with Ryan, so he organizes a bonfire. And with the power of peer pressure and bad bitches, he gets everyone to join.
Now we get chapter two and everyone's off with their intended pairs, but despite them teasing and nudging you toward these relationships, there's no real way to make them happen. There's no way for Jacob to get a real relationship with Emma. Outside of a kiss, Nick fumbles with Abby and Ryan has a choice between Dylan and Caitlin, but outside of establishing like mutual feelings with Dylan, it's really nothing. Now, they even hint at Ryan having a shot with Laura, but there's no way to make that happen either. Wowly, Ryan is, to me, the most dislikable character in the game, yet he gets all the, you know, hoes in a large portion of the screen time. Crazy. Nonetheless, Emma and Jacob are raiding the, this cabin for party stuff. There's some lore stuff in here, like a torn up bag for some hikers who died to one of the werewolves. The game never explains this, but I believe that body that's in the lake is one of the uh hikers or whatever anyways this scene isn't really important besides the fact that emma finds a shotgun and you can decide to take fireworks or not which the ai decided to do but while we're on the topic of shipping jacob throws a shit ton of icebreakers at emma and she is absolutely having none of it which is a super real outcome but there should be a way for you to talk to her and warm her up like there should be an option she shouldn't just blow off everything you know if you're gonna set up the shipping give us an option or if we play the cards right for shipping to happen anyways moving on we get dylan and ryan this scene isn't very important outside of realizing that dylan is a laid-back jokester and ryan is a by-the-book authoritarian anyways they find the secret layer with all the trail cameras which gaming since pointed out they're all one big family so why would he break his own camera talk i think it was bobby or jedediah but of course if this is your first playthrough there's no way you would know that know this it's one of those one those small details that don't make sense but you're not going to remember it as you progress next we get uh next we get nick and abby and this entire scene is awkward shipping which i don't think nick's way of ice breaking and flirting is cringe or awkward it's just weird being a fly on the wall in this conversation nonetheless there's a tutorial in the scene but the ai is playing so it's irrelevant skipping the to the gun control tutorial scene i want to point out how skilled caitlin is with a gun for a future point now we get uh yeah that, that's pretty much it now we get truth or dare and the ai went a totally different route than what i did or i think anybody else did so i'm gonna let it play i'll be by your oh, side and keep it your pants until it's returned who well, does get to go first Mm. Well, it's house mm. deals, so. Abigail. I'm gonna learn how to get sturdy and just get Truth sturdy to J pop and oh. fucking indie rock songs. Truth. Really dodged a bullet, huh? Alright, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I. Uh, um. Oh god, she has. I mean, obviously, but like this character, she has. Cause look at how nervous she is. And then as soon as he asks this, have you slept with anyone at this camp? Answers immediately. <laughs> no. Nah. Nope. She got earthed. All right, Abby, it's your turn. And I will blame him. All right. Okay. <laughs> um. I don't uh, blame him. Abby, oh my god, whoever just it was. Someone. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't know. Did I, does he have it on repeat? I mean, I don't blame him. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Oh, here where it gets devious. Ryan. Truth or dare? Truth. I'm an open book. Oh, I haven't seen this. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. What does she Let's ask? Do. You and Mr. Hackett. Ooh. What were you doing in his office? Throwing neck. Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually super boring if you must know i needed some life advice and he didn't give it to you he did it remember that advice huh oh whoa whoa um okay i got this okay so uh if you go to settings there's an option called incognito mode you know all about that, that don't you no life advice about school and, and that's no fair i've i've already answered my question yeah. Maybe we can help. Uh, I don't know. You've all got your own shit going on. <laughs> Especially I, Jacob. I, I figured just the mention of the word school would cause Jacob to hemorrhage or something. Whoa. Dude, what the hell did I do? You're an all idiot. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. 
Good point. And he chooses Caitlin. Mm, what do you say? That one, that perfectly. Truth. Truth. And then doesn't he ask about Jacob? When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Oh, uh, that's kind of a boring question. Astronaut? At least it's PG. Uh, answer. Well, the answer is, I don't know. That's the truth. You <laughs> still don't know? So, guess it's my turn. Nope. What? I smell bullshit. She wanted to be a cheerleader. Me. I wanted to be a street performer. Globetrotter? <laughs> what? No way. Well, um. <laughs> a street performer? You mean like, um. Like. No asshole. Like a mime or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. Ah. Uh, really? Oh, that's a mime? Yeah, no, I just can't imagine. No, she gotta talk. Thanks, Ryan. We're well, learning a lot. Now it's my turn. Here we go. Blood's in the air. Emma. Mm. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. I know this is scripted, but that she's definitely a dare girl. Yo, why? She got a whole 40! I didn't notice that before. Oh. Look at that! Nick. Uh. <laughs> a mega pint, if you will. Well, then. Um... Uh, they all got 40s! Nick, this is not uh, even there, obviously. <laughs> Don't be a menace in South Central. <laughs> I choose Nick. Oh, what a demon. Why Nick, though? Well, I know she does it just to stir the pot, but Nick is lame! Seriously? The only reason he's not the lamest is because Jacob is lame. I don't get the appeal of... Maybe it's the, um... It's the accent. But I don't get the appeal of Nick. I don't. Uh, he probably cool in real life. Probably a stud. But his character is ass water. Guys. Hey, I don't know this song. I didn't hear it at first because I was too busy calling Emma a thought, Thank you, a Nick. demon. So after this, Abby runs off into the woods, and that's where the game, or this is where the game, unofficially begins. So surprisingly, less than two minutes after watching your best friend make out with your crush, the game gives you an option to continue shipping with Nick, and the AI decides to do just that by kissing Nick. And over the span of three minutes, Nick has kissed more girls than you or I have in four years. But uh, then we get some action. Y'all don't see that? Well... It's not exactly an animal, but y'all would have like a that sixth si yeah a sixth sense poke out poke out make itself known just like uh you might be juiced here that motherfucker moving too. Here we go, shit about to get real. <sighs> I might be able to start commentating now. Well, I did start commentating, but I don't know how much of this I'm just going to post comment, how much I'm going to Oh, shit. Fuck. Going. Bye, Nick. She has photographic memory. She turned around to take a mental picture of where he is. Fucking falls. No, nah, she she did as well fall. Where are you going? Doesn't go in the tree. Smart man. Smart man. That's a lady. Abby's on the move. She has a wolfy run. Oh no, shit! I didn't know that could happen. John Cena! Let me go! <laughs> and he just stands there. He doesn't say, did you get bit? It's, let me look at you. Like, oh, brother. I would have ran too. I'm like, yo, get the fuck off me, bro. It's a bear. 
Or oh, actually, I'm in the cryptozoology. As soon as I saw that, I would have been like, yo, there's a fucking humanoid creature out there. Yo, it's not tracking her. Maybe it's eating fucking homeboy. Oh, she finna fail this. GG's, Abby. Just keep moving. There he goes. Akuna Matata. Ew. I wish I was good at jokes. I would have been roasting him. No way Abby passes this. No way. Wow, she passes it. I set her to fluster. I'm surprised she- Oh, nope, she got bit. There it is. Bro, that thing was nibbling on the cheek. How did- Oh, it saved her. Well, Abby might turn into a zombie. A zombie. A fucking Wendigo. Fuck! They're werewolves. So the game doesn't do a good job of letting you know who's been eaten, bit, or scratched. Apparently, Abby got scratched there. So she's not going to transform despite the animation showing her get bit in the shoulder. I don't know. It threw me for a loop in my first playthrough. I wonder if it did for you too. Anyways, we skipped to Jacob. And this scene is rather pointless besides Jacob and Emma separating. Emma comes over to console Jacob and they end up flirting a bit. I feel like this is a missed opportunity to continue, to continue the relationship between them. For example, they could have given you an option to follow her across the lake, which is something that she holds against you later on in the game, or and be like A, continue flirting, or B, try to talk it out. But instead, Jake has a lapse in judgment, or in this case, he just completely loses her, and he runs off half-naked into the woods. Surprisingly, he never puts his clothes back on. But then again, if I had a V-line and abs like that, I wouldn't put my shirt on either. But we transition back to Ryan as Abby makes it back to the group. Abby, go! He might be hurt too! <laughs> Hurt's an understatement. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful! Note that for later. Here I come to okay, save the okay, day. Okay. Help is on the way. Here I come to save the day. Woo! He didn't get target practice though. Bro, this man is wearing a shirt three sizes too big, but he is moving though. Look at him, he's gonna kill these QTEs. Look at this. Oh. Be <laughs> you hit that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I accidentally had the game muted for the first part of this, and I, I did some great commentary. Yeet. Why would you take that? I mean, it's working. Bro, we're gonna slip. Oh, yeah, you in the. You in the Wyoming Tims, bro? You get those wet SGGs. Nailing the QTs. Every single one. Don't worry. Also, she never told him where he was, so how did he just know? Doesn't say anything to him, just grabs him by the neck. <laughs> Is it with a shoe? He's like, no the fuck you won't, bitch boy. He needs to shoot though. He shoots! There we go. Good. That saves him a finger. Now, no, most people are like, how the fuck did he eat a shotgun shell? Well, it is uh, apparently it's buckshot. And remember when Caitlin said it has one hell of a spread? Uh, apparently at that distance, it lost so much velocity, it basically, he, you basically shot him with a BB gun at that point, because it, it's shooting pellets, not bullets, and once all that velocity is slowed down, it, you know, you just threw a rock at him and whatnot, which, speaking of some crazy shit, my old uh, teacher told us that how back in the day, they used to stand out about 100 yards, and then one of them would shoot a shotgun into the air, and they'd have all the little pellets fall onto them, and they called it some kind of, they called the game something rain. And it sounds wild, doesn't it? Just 
Hey, let's go to a, a fucking yard. I'm gonna shoot a shotgun at, over your heads. So Jacob gets captured, and I make a cringe John Cena joke, but more importantly, he decides to throw dust in Bobby's face and escapes without applying plot armor. Now we get chapter four. Don't panic. Can you tell me what those guys did to you? I did. What's well, crazy, this he's is the most he contributes to the story, the, the, being the, the dude that got bit. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. There was something else. Some kind of animal. What oh, no. kind of animal? No, no, I only saw a dude trying to take him away. He's probably just disoriented, that's all. What the fuck? The, the dude was massive and angry. The dude's bleeding and whatnot, and the guy, like, what could a guy have done to him to make him bleed that much? Like, it, hey, what happened to you? This. No, nah, no way that happened to you. Um, I saw this. Ryan! The fuck? Like, if you, if you, depending on where you get, like, first off, you would have heard it. Well, he did hear gunshots, but, like, if he would have got shot... You know, there would be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying I'm an expert on fucking bullet wounds and whatnot, but there's no way, unless he gets hit in the artery or something, there's no way there's that much blood and he's just perfectly, this is what happened. Like, how you gonna ask the man? Bro, she left your ass, it's okay. She's right over there. Because... Teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Bro, he literally, when they were walking up to the, I didn't notice it the first time. They're walking up. She says, is it a bear? No, too growly. Gets bitten. Comes up here. I think I got bit by a bear. You didn't get bit by a fucking bear, bro. Trash. Dog shit. I thought we don't get bears right here. You don't. Oh, fuck. Oh shit! That black stuff—that's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. <laughs> He's just staring at it. That's tough. More importantly, they avoid a gimmick death by not shooting into the bushes, killing Jacob. And interestingly enough, if you don't do the button mash uh, prompt. During the gun struggle, Ryan takes the gun despite being a fourth of the size of Jacob. Fast forward, we get Emma and she is starting a soliloquy about her relationship with Jacob. No one really paid attention to it, but long story medium, she basically says the relationship ran its course and she's ready to move on to, new, to a new place with new boys, but she feels bad that Jacob is so upset about the breakup and it's dragging her down because she doesn't want him to be butthurt about it because she doesn't really hate him. Speaking of up or down though, uh, the game gives you a choice of going up or down, uh, but this only affects dialogue as no matter what you do, she ends up in the treehouse. Take it all in folks, that's the summer camp experience right there and oh look, it seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one I don't have been saying she's the best character so far, but she's growing on me. But I don't recognize this. Ooh, mysterious. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some Thank God. on. This is all you're getting. So even if you pick the clothes here, which I did in my playthrough, she still ends up checking the fucking uh thing to thing. What's that thing called? The hatch. The hatch Fun. door. Okay, so I think there's something up there. Mm. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. So you'd be amazed at how many people got to this part. <sighs> I, Goodbye, cruel world. Where, the final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an. Where you're clearly supposed to search the bag, and they did this first, and immediately died. But since he searched the bag, 
Assuming she plays her cards, that is the ugliest motherfucker I've ever seen in my- mm, Stabs his ass! Stabs his ass. Okay, let's see if she can nail the QTEs. Getting chased! Will Emma live or will she die here? So many creators, so many creators had her die on the hatch seat. RDC did it on purpose because they thought she wasn't taking it serious and being stupid. But then again, she is being drunk. She is drunk. Uh, Brittany, Brittany Parisi's uh, sister slash cousin got her killed because I don't know what the fuck. It's just a pure lapse in judgment and spray the shit out of this ass. Emma moving though. She may be a frat girl, but she's kind of athletic. You know, it ain't got too much uh, weight on her. You know, she don't got any uh, airbags. She can run track. I don't know why she held the door so long. Check this out. So I chose to block the door here. I wonder what she does. Okay. The crazy thing is, if you block the door, the motherfucker just sidesteps and comes through the window. Like, <laughs> climb, bitch. Uh, check this out. Dunk. <laughs> Fucking toolbox. Oh, man. Now we cut to Dylan and Ryan. And you can make this work, but the AI shows you how uh, incompatible they are. As Ryan joking around. Oh, Ryan? As Dylan is joking around trying to be positive about the situation and Ryan is still being authoritarian and by the book for no fucking reason which is weird because as cramp cramps camp is over and there's no one here so there really isn't any rules and at this point uh, they feel like they've been under attack by hunters and animals so there's no reason for him to be so hostile toward literally everyone or especially Dylan for trying to take an extra gun but those are the keynotes but the keynotes of this scene is Dylan gets a gun and makes Ryan give his gun to Caitlyn oddly enough even if you don't argue and you give up Dylan's gun to Caitlyn they still give you this scene where Dylan makes up with Ryan a small but off detail because there would be no reason to make up if there was no issue in the first place so, but now we get more Emma now we're back with Emma oh she's not finished she stays in a is there an option where you don't go across Oh, okay. I was like, hold on. What? I thought she already escaped. All right, here comes part two. She still has to get across the lake or she's grits. Roll that motherfucker. I think whatever you do here, it works out. That motherfucker's screeching. Why would you... <clears throat> Excuse me. Why would you stop? Yep, I rolled that motherfucker. Oh, no. She chose to go fast. Oh, it hears it. What you do with the taser and stuff? Fucking misses. Oh, she got it. I don't know if the werewolves are supposed to be cat-like, but they... They pers... Like, uh... They don't... They stalk like crazy. Like, they'll pursue you a little bit, but they mostly just do a fuck ton of stalking. Like, right there, it had her dead the rights, and it just starts stalking her. Like, it, I guess it's some animals will do that if you face them. They normally, like, chase you. Some animals chase you if your back's to them, but if you're facing them, they kind of just keep stalking and waiting for you to fuck up or try to run. I think it's a... There's some animals here. Are wolves that way? I think wolves are that way. Like, if you stare down a wolf, it's not going to attack you. Especially if it's by itself. I... I want to say tigers are that way, too. But tigers are big fucking cats. I don't understand why they wouldn't. Oh, yes. Chapter 5. Let's go. Alright. I'll do that. Narrate the rest of this later on. But, while we're here... I'll probably post content of that. I don't know. But we're finally getting into the meat and potatoes of this. So, yeah, this is going to be nice. I don't know. I don't know. Look, um, I'm going to play a quick at. 
why is Nick staring into our soul? Nick, get get out of here, bro. Anyways, um, <laughs> with that being said, look, I'm gonna really quick ahead, you know what I'm saying, clean your microwave and get hydrated, things of that nature, and until I, uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all after these, uh, these messages and whatnot. I, I hope y'all will enjoy this, but yeah, uh, I love Fox, but we'll be back after this. All right, guys, y'all missed chapter five because I forgot to hit record. But the important part is Emma! they did not cut off Dylan's arm. Jesus that Christ. that that's literally all that happened. They didn't cut Look. Dylan's. Holy fuck! I didn't notice her at first. Man. They didn't cut off Dylan's Cuts arm, and they did not get in a fight with Bobby. So that's it. I also said some stuff, but I'm gonna be repeating some of those points Emma, over and you? over, so it doesn't matter that you missed out on that commentary. But here we go. We go with Jacob. Now, the thing that I said about Jacob is, uh, Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. Like, Ryan is a huge disbeliever in what's going on here with the whole werewolf thing. And I was like, it would make more sense if Jacob or Nick, you know, Jacob, Nick, or well, I named somebody down. else, was like, Fucking oh my hell. god, there's no way it's a, it's a werewolf. It has to be a bear. Like, cause, you know, Jacob's the dumbass. He's the idiot here. He's the dumb jock. And then Nick is just. I don't know what the fuck he he's supposed to be like a tweener i don't know what the fuck's going on with him but it would make more sense for that but like ryan listens somebody the gaming sense dude pointed it out he l starts the game listening to a cryptozoology podcast and he talks about it and then <laughs> hey it's emma but he listens oh, to a cryptozoology God, podcast but ah, he's the Jesus biggest Christ. denier of what's going on here with the cryptids. Oh my god no way am i glad to see you <laughs> and then she just fucking decks him <laughs> Swamped his ass too. Like Jacob, have you never you been in a back fight? There, you asshole! You God, swam Emma, over here on your own free will. Body uh, cakes. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know. Okay, some like I ain't gonna lie. Bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too. But it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? These angles kind of doing her justice right Sorry, now. I'm just. I wasn't feeling it before, but uh, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like. What? It was like what, Emma? Like out of a horror movie. What's crazy is that okay. attack um, didn't sober her up. Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself. You oh, know? See, that it, makes you, sense. You know, it wasn't a fucking bear. Well, you you're didn't right. see it. You're right. And now we have these Wait. fucking the, the hunters. Running all over the place, so that's a. Why would a bear way. be in a treehouse, Jacob? Wait, Jacob's what? dumb. See, the problem Don't is ask. everybody acts that way, okay, so it's like gotta get out of you know? these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. <laughs> Emma, okay, you know what? <laughs> right. She just okay, punched him right. in the face a I'm minute sorry. ago Ugh, and then so tells mean, him Emma, not to be a dick. Bro, you just right decked okay, me. Seriously, I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things, like plural. What? Wait, really? <sighs> I love Emma. She, she plays her character the best. Everybody else has like this relative fuck character. Tall ass. Jacob, you muscular, but you ain't got no, no ass. Where's the glutes at? You know what? I'm oh, glutes. Where's the gluteus maximus, bro? Woo! See, me, I would think Wendigo, cause that. Jacob. Ah! Good shit, Emma. Now he's about to turn. Hold on, I didn't know Jacob could get bit because I was nailing them QTEs. Bro, nigga, bro, he got a V line from hell. Smart gal. Run, yes. Jake. Them motherfuckers tall too. Oh yeah, Jacob finna die. He ain't got the blood on his face to. So you know what I'm saying? Is he hiding? Oh no, he's gonna fuck this up. Yep, GG's. Now, if you have the blood on your face and you mess this up, you'll survive it no matter what you do here. 
because it, it's not going to recognize you via scent. Now, I don't know if these things are blind and go purely off scent. No, 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 no. They're like partially blind. Like they can see, but not see too well. No way, is he nailing it? Nah, he's about to fail this shit. All right, he lets it go here. Let it go. GG's. Bye, Jacob. Yep. Oh, they shoot it. He gets saved regardless. Okay, so they capture him regardless. Wow. Well, on my playthrough, I escaped that motherfucker, got stuck in a bear trap because Jacob's an idiot, and he got hit by the butt of a gun. But now we make it back here with them. I also said when it comes to, like, uh, it was either RDC or Belize, they pointed out how nonchalant the characters are and how they don't give out really important information with each other. Is she like one of those and I was like, hunter dudes? It would make more so. sense... See, here's the thing. Wait, we'll wait for that when okay? it comes. But I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. But I'm like, if Dylan and Caitlin were like super nonchalant, it would make more sense. That's their personalities. Yeah. But for everybody else, it's a little weird. That's Kaylee Hackett. Why didn't you, you start with that? Her? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. I think it would make a little sense for his uh, quote-unquote oh, brooding personality Poor to be Kaylee. so... But he'd be like, uh, you know, you expect him, since he's so butthurt about it, to come around the corner like, Holy shit, that's Kaylee! You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck oh, off, okay. Kaylin. <laughs> she smelled like Victoria's Secret. <laughs> Bath and Body Works. <laughs> what you taste you. Hey. Oh. Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Shove that nigga. Uh, get off! Uh, watch out! I said get off! Mm. She put some of that, that, them thighs <laughs> in it. <laughs> that shit hurt. Are you okay? I just wanted him to stop. Nick, dude! <laughs> I got it. That shit cold, ain't it? What did I do? So they take Nick to the pool house, and this is the last thing he will contribute to the story, pretty much. After some dialogue and destroying what uh, his shipping between him and. Abby, we get this scene. He's supposed to be Mr. Macho Man who gets any girl he wants. And he's FUGLY! Sorry, Abby gets married what? anyways. Fuck, boy. You're not really very smart, are you? Oh, stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Most people, like, oh, overlook that line. Blur. This isn't you. I mean, this, that was basically, this isn't well, I mean, you. that's where we'll talk, but it, they also speak the truth when they're changing. So basically, he thought he was, uh, she was an easy booty call, you know what I'm saying? Abby, everything okay? Oh, Holy that's shit. Right, one there. I ain't gonna lie. Pick that 12 up. Blast his ass. I don't think she's gonna do it, though. Yeah, shoot that nigga. I don't think she's gonna do it. I don't think she's gonna do it. GG's Abby. GG's Abby. Yep. GG's Abby. Abby! How do you miss? Bro, why did that take so long? He wasn't even moving. Abby, how the fuck do you miss? Really? Shoot. Okay, you got a chance. Bro, this isn't Dragon Ball Z. He doesn't have to finish his transformation. Why'd you drop the gun? Abby! Bro, this isn't Dragon Ball. Don't let him finish the transformation. Shoot his ass. What are you saying no for? Do something. Caitlyn! What do y'all do something? GG's. Goodbye. Eat her. Eat her. Start with the ass. Yep. Yep. You said you were going to eat it? Damn. Damn. Damn! Wait, you say no? Wait, 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 hold on! Pause! 
pause, pause, pause. He threw that bitch across the room. He slams the bitch against the locker, bites her in the, like, you know what I'm saying? He's beating her ass, and she only says no when he bites her. What the fuck? You didn't say no when he threw her across the room. You didn't say no when she missed the shotgun shot. You were completely mute. But that's when you say no? Really? Really? Damn, she was my favorite. Well, not my favorite. I just thought she was the hottest. She's kind of stupid, though. Damn. I also pointed out how some people noticed how loopy Dylan and Emma act, but for Emma's treehouse scene, I'm assuming she was still drunk during the whole thing and doesn't show up until she swims back to the mainland. And if you cut Dylan's arm off, Caitlyn gives him a handful of drugs, so that would explain why he's so loopy. But in this scenario, he didn't get the drugs, so if he's being loopy and stupid, that's just his personality. Nonetheless, we transitions back to Emma, and she makes a logical decision to head back to the cabin, and then this happens. Like you can help her live through it. But she was drunk. Now she's sobered up. She's like, hey, where's everybody going? Probably to the lodge. Wow, that's great logic. Which normally that would be obvious, but given other events in the game. <laughs> Alright, so that's Nick that they're holding. I've never done this before, Now here's the weird part. And then this is allegedly Silas that's talking. So they cut him down. Son, what? And then he's just... Oh, they capture her. Oh, she decides not to run, hey, which stop. is smart. Stop squirming. Give me the try. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Fucking uh, smacks him. Get the fuck away from me! Bink! So she kicks him, yada yada yada, which is good. Now, if you run, Silas bites her, and it, it comes to fuck you in the future. She has the firecracker. But here's the thing: they had him caught in the rope yes, trap, yes. and they. Oh, I guess. Oh, she actually hit him with it. W A. Oh, I know that hurt things. But then they get distracted and start shooting that Silas, which. Surprisingly, they miss and don't capture him, but I thought it didn't make sense that they cut Caitlin? Nick down, yet they still kept, like, he doesn't run off, but then again, they probably just cut the rope holding him. They probably still had his feet tied and whatnot. After this, Emma hides in the van and is basically irrelevant for the rest of this playthrough, but funny enough, she takes Abby Abby's role as the holder of a silver bullet, which kind of makes keeping Abby alive rather useless if you can get the pretty much the only thing that makes her valuable from someone else but on the flip side it gives you a bonus way to survive just in case you got abby killed and you don't do the bear scene like the ai did this uh bear collectible thing like the ai did this time speaking of survive we get laura laura's return chapter which is a very interesting chapter your first time through but with the power of hindsight this chapter is completely useless outside of collectibles nothing you do here affects the game in any way shape or form the only important part of this chapter outside of lore is the reveal that chris is a werewolf but no matter besides that no matter what you do laura loses an eye her and max escape and laura gets bitten by max now we get back to the future and ryan is being neat Needlessly antagonistic, antagonistic toward Laura, saying things like "You're a mur murderer and I don't trust you," while trying to convince her not to kill Chris. Basically, being super butthurt over the death of his alleged friend, which I get being upset by the death of your friend and someone wanting to kill your other friend. But the only example of Ryan and Chris's relationship is Chris blowing off Ryan and showing absolutely no interest in, interest in Ryan's post-graduation crisis and just slamming him with being 
responsible for six other adults while abandoning him overnight so there's no reason for him to be white knighting so hard for him also gaming like gaming since pointed out is that he starts the game listening to a cryptozoology podcast but is the biggest disbeliever and antagonist to the entire plot line at this point which the plot line is you need to kill chris to save everyone else and i kept saying it would make more sense for nick's too cool for school personality to play this role or jacobs as the stupid jock emma as the frat girl or hell even abby to be against you know wanting to kill someone or not believing in the werewolves or things of that nature but ryan's role as the counter culture doesn't really match his lore at this point he's literally been against everything since the beginning of the game he's against the party he's against freaking grabbing the gun x y and z everything he's just a counter to everything he's just an ass character at no point does he grow and adapt to the situation anyways also what is they that laura starts trying to build a relationship starts shipping with him like trying to get with ryan despite him being one of the most dislikable despite him being the most dislikable version of his dislikable character in the entire game Moving on, they're just outside the estate and Laura goes off of him, which is well deserved, which is crazy because she goes off of him, yet she still continues to try to ship with him for the rest of the fucking game. But I go on a rant about Ryan being indecisive and fixed minded and refusing to accept and adapt to the situation despite him being pegged as a leader, you know, the sailing team instructor since the beginning of the game and Ryan, you're in charge of these adults. So yeah, I also asked why would he volunteer or forcibly tag along with Laura? Or just to complain and give her shit the entire time nonetheless i mean there's a you can go really deep into how shitty ryan is as a character which you know what for clout i might actually do that nonetheless dylan and caitlin dylan caitlin and emma meet up at the van there's a little bit of comedic relief as she sprays bug spray in his face but it, they call it air freshener which i don't know what kind of air freshener comes in that kind of never mind basically this scene is supposed to show you that everyone is safe and despite emma giving a strength in numbers proposal uh the script doesn't allow for that so caitlin sends her back to the house alone ignoring the fact that she got attacked in the damn house earlier and we have hindsight that caitlin is going to get attacked in the same house later so sending her alone by herself is kind of a stupid decision with hindsight in previous knowledge next we get uh the scene ah something i think i'm about to burp then (laughs) next we get uh we get the next scene that could lead to a gimmick death did you get bitten is she crazy (laughs) she shot nick two down baby what have you done? But that makes sense. I don't know why she would feel bad about it. That's my thing. Like, I understand. Like, why does she feel... And how does he just come out the woodwork so quick? They can just... Just... <laughs> Enderman spawn behind her. Poof! <laughs> Send Bobby down! But why does she feel bad about it? She has no idea that that's Nick. And she's on a crusade of, like, just trying to kill Chris. And it would make sense for Chris to be in, you know, the house. Now, I wonder what happens to Jacob here. Because by killing Nick, they save jacob by default which you can save them both by letting him out now most people get jacob killed there because uh they choose to keep him there because he's done nothing but cause trouble the whole night and it honestly just like i said about emma there uh saving him is basically just an achievement because you the reason why i left him there is because he's i thought if we save him he's gonna tag along and he keeps making stupid decisions that you can't stop him from making so i was like if he's tagging along he's just gonna cause him a trouble leave him here safer and he's not gonna fuck with the rest of us but it turns out if you save him instead of joining a group he literally just walks off screen never to be seen again he's safe for the night like he doesn't provide anything and then gave me since pointed out that that's another illusionary choice so it's like whether you save him or not it doesn't really matter because at this point he had like he has nothing to do with the story so i consider that a gimmick death as if you play the game it gives you a quote-unquote stop her quick time event but she's off screen and you have literally no idea what she's doing so it's kind of a 50 50 shot rather than you making a educated choice like some people just click a because it pops up and it's a quick time event so you think you have to and some people don't do it because they're like stop her from doing what and then you know 
there's no going back after that. But then again, Nif Nick serves no purpose to the game at this point besides calling another gimmick death with Jacob. But back to the... Uh, crap, what, why did I lose my place there? Back to the Hackett residence. Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. This scene makes no fucking sense. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you just back up to the light, and then she just lets the bitch grab it out of nowhere. Gotcha. And then you can struggle here. I wonder what happens. No force you did to my Kaylee. Get the fuck off me! Okay, she's winning it? Oh no! You lost. aren't hurting us anymore. You are done. Okay, so if you win, which Everybody most people stop. do because it's like a quick time event, you blow her face off, but. With this option, you can save her. Murderous Wait, she doesn't take bitch. the gun. How did Shut they the get it to where up. she doesn't that take ain't the gun? No way to be talking to your mother. Yes. <laughs> Put me down, asshole. You what just let that man walk you here? by the neck. Okay, he has a knife. I forgot. <laughs> anymore, Bobby. Not after what they did to our Kaylee. Why'd she put the gun down? You don't even like Ryan. Why would you give up? What? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> this game's so fucking stupid. <laughs> this game's so fucking stupid. This game's so fucking stupid. This game's so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> First off, they've done. Were they trying to set up some kind of shipping between them? Like, were they trying to like have like a uh, some kind of love romance thing going on between her and Ryan? Because why does she be like, "Are you flirting with me?" And she's asking about him and this, that, and the third. And then here, uh, she immediately drops the gun for him and shit like that. And she's trying to save him and whatnot. But. That would make no sense, because one, they have, there's no reason to like Ryan, he's the most dislikable, you know what I'm saying, like, he, he's the most dislikable character in the game, I don't see what any, well, of course, Dylan and Caitlyn like him for off-camera things that happen before the game even starts, but I don't see any reason to like him, first off, they just met, and as soon as they meet, he's a straight asshole to him, he's not attractive, Jacob and... Dylan are the most attractive guy. Well, Nick. I was like, Jacob and Nick are the most attractive guys in the game. So he's not even that attractive. There's no reason to like Ryan at all. Whatsoever. And then, I don't get it. And she's dating Max, who's still alive. Off key. What the fuck? Oh, ah! what? He ends up stabbing him regardless? <laughs> okay. He took my knife. This makes no fucking sense here, then. Okay, before, in my playthrough, I shot fucking homegirl, and then Jed Jedediah tries to kill her, and everybody scatters, and then Ryan goes and hides in there, right? Like, Bobby, he stabs him and walks off, and then he hides in there. But everybody sees him get in the closet, so I don't understand. He gets, why the fuck would he hide in the closet with everybody staring at him? She shoots her? She was annoying the shit out of me. Me too. After Ryan hides here, he gets chased by John Cena. But he eventually escapes, and then we transition to Laura, and she gets cornered by Jedediah. So now Homegirl's here, and I forgot what happens. It's just bit. Oh, you're gonna shoot me again? That worked so well for you last time. Shoots her in the fucking arm. <laughs> okay, so now this bitch is over here cheerleading, and then he says the iconic. <sighs> oh, he doesn't say I anything. Know, I okay, might there not it is. I have enough silver to kill you, but I could sure make you suffer. And then this is the Me Too movement. And then since she has these QTEs. Nope, she missed that. Oh no, she got it. For the kick right in the nuts. Yep. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Why they freeze there? They took a picture. <laughs> so she beats his ass, and I guess this is a uh, more of that uh illusion of choice. 
grandma lives, but she's just Still standing there watching her husband get his ass beat. Get Come on, you get him. What are you saying? Hey, what's your position? What's your position? Don't let her run, Jed. Cut her down. Why isn't he... Well, he doesn't have enough silver to kill her, so it doesn't matter if he shoots or not. So, here's where most people get, uh... Jacob killed. Which... Why hasn't he changed? He got... So yeah, that happens, and for some reason it opens both gates, and then, look at this, he'll just walk slowly, like he doesn't try to run out of the cell, so he just basically walks into his death, but nonetheless, Jacob wasn't gonna add to the story regardless, so they have him live, Nick is dead, but it is what it is. So yeah, he just walks off, and I don't think we'll see him again for the rest of the game. As for this, you had a choice. You can see in the dark. She's one of them. Again, I don't know if, uh... What are you? You should be able to see her. She's not moving. You can see her I'm in the flesh. I'm going to enjoy watching you die, girl. Okay, so she's just here cheerleading. Uh, if you're fighting by yourself, you have a choice to kill Everybody Jedediah. Stop right now! Then he's burst in. Awkward Take her head off, Travis. She's bit. Yeah. Yeah, fill her with silver, son. You know, you think he'd shoot? And then she just runs off. Wait! She doesn't run? Okay. Shoot him! I feel like, uh, another illusion of choice there. Okay, so I, th I feel like you he should shoot you if you're, like, an asshole to him in the cell scene, you know what I'm saying? Especially since you knocked him out and take the gun. Well, you have to do that regardless, but it's like, if you try to take the gun, if you're fighting with him, and yada yada yada, you know, try to get the plan to where fucking homeboy fights him, I feel like he should shoot you there. You know what I'm saying? And just to, like, add more consequences to the game. But nonetheless, um, so, I felt bad for killing Jedediah and Constance. Well, Constance, there's no way you know that you are you can let her live, so I didn't feel bad for that. But as for Jedediah, um, yeah, you can have him live and whatnot. Well, but the thing is, uh, I kind of felt bad for killing him, but then again, it was him or me at that point, because he was shoot. he literally shot me. But even if you let him live, those two are not going to contribute to the story for the rest of the game. They're literally, there's going to be scenes where they're in the scene, but they literally don't do anything but stand around. Like, they're just background characters. So it's like there's like whether you kill them or not, it makes no difference whatsoever. So like I said, Ryan escapes, or so we thought, but Laura shows up after uh, the AI decides to stab Bobby. Fun fact here, uh, if you don't stab Bobby, Laura shows up and scares him off, but since we stab Bobby, he's not going to be strong enough to defend himself in a future situation. Anyways, in contrast to all the non-stop bullshit that Ryan gave her, for some reason she's super sad about Ryan, and not in a, oh god, you're dying, oh god, you're too, you know, you're so young, it sucks to see you about to pass away and mortally wounded kind of thing but this scene is like super intimate like I, I i don't have the knowledge to be able to explain to you why it's so weird but nonetheless the scene is super intimate and ryan lets laura bite her bite her ryan lets laura bite him then we transition to dylan and katie I wrote Katie instead of Caitlyn. Uh, they get in a fight route. They get in a fight scene versus one of the wolves and survive. But act, but here's the real interesting part. You can't fuck this up this point, man. Again, they do the werewolves do a lot of stalking. <sighs> Fuck. Dylan. Uh. 
Yo, he's about to burst. Bro, you just Don't saw Nick turn into a fucking no, 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 werewolf. Holy f why is Dylan the smartest one here? There goes Dylan. Well, then that means they just saved him by default if he turns into a werewolf. Well, assuming you're spending your first shoot. night after camp at a luxury spot. And Holy fuck, Emma gets to talk for three minutes and then we're not gonna see her anymore. Well, Damn, that's a lot of syringes. Watch your step. They over here shooting up. Werewolves might only be half the problem. How can be it? So I guess they're all calm until they see something they want to hunt. And why would they only lock his arms up? Son of a bitch. Damn. Yo, Chris is an ugly wolf. Why are they freaking out? This is what a big issue that most people, a lot of people have with this game. It's like, yo, everyone is just extremely calm. It's like everybody took a Xanax before they got into, you know what I'm saying? Pop the Xanax before the fucking night started. Like, instead of drinking when they were at the campfire, they was just, you know, <laughs> just throw, slamming Xans. Why isn't like, I understand if there's one or two of them that is just unnecessarily calm and collected. I mean, odds are somebody's going to be that kind of person. But for everyone to be so calm, this motherfucker just broke his chains. And she's just like, Ryan? Like, no scream, no attempt to flee, no gun raise, no nothing. Just, Ryan? And, and two, why'd she call for Ryan? Why? He has not done anything to indicate that he would want to help you in any situation possible. Again, you should just straight up run some animals. <laughs> some animals you have to stand off with. Like, they won't attack until you turn tail. But, I don't know. I, 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 I don't live with wolves, so... I never looked up how to react to a wolf. Now, Bobby, in theory, should be able to hold this thing off because... Oh, no, he stabbed him. Bobby's dead. GG's, Bobby. Uh. <laughs> he just doesn't notice the fucking... The fucking werewolf to his right. <laughs> You're the worst cop in the world. He's the worst. He, he did not check the room at all. <laughs> Oh, really? Okay, here's the most intense part of the game. You wait five and a half hours for this. Five and a half hours? Yep, you died. I got Bobby killed too, but there's no way you would know. I feel like that's uh, one of the best decisions to do. Like, well, hit the city. Oh, insta fuck, sir. Okay. Where's his gun? This guy immediately. Hey, I didn't know that one. Hey! He's gonna miss the shot. Oh, he made it! Yo, why did it? Whoa, I didn't know that. That's that's kind of cool. So most people probably would have shot. Laura by accident there. Wow. Okay, a lot just happened there. First off, Bobby died because uh you'll see it in the end of the game. If you don't stab him with Ryan's knife, um he's strong enough to hold the 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 werewolf off. I keep trying to say Wendigo, but it's a werewolf. It's just, there's no fur. That's what keeps messing me up. So he wasn't strong enough to fight him off, so he dies. Now, Jedi and Constance survived this scene. If you, I guess if you do it the way I did it, they survived the scene, but that make, I was waiting for that to happen. I was going to point out that uh, Gaming Sense points out the, 
I keep saying this, but I, I got to keep giving him credit for this because I didn't notice it until I watched the video. Is that the illusion of choice? So Constance and Jedediah are alive. Now, I don't know what the heck they did to have them attack, but literally in this scene, if you play it the right way, they literally just walk out of the room. Like they literally just leave. They don't do anything. They just leave and never be seen again. And they do stuff off screen, right? I guess that's the ending to where they go looking for Silas without you. But now they're dead, so they're most likely going to get the best ending here. Nonetheless, I don't know what they did. In everybody's playthrough that I saw, uh, when they get that cutscene, it starts with them aiming at Chris. I've never seen it aim at Laura at first, but fortunately, it's AI, and he immediately looked to the left and had and still had enough time to shoot Chris. Now, that makes Berlizzi look a lot worse because... I, I, Berlizzi was looking at Chris, freeze framed, and got Ryan killed. So that's insane. I, I, Berlizzi will never see this video, and I don't have enough fans to where they were clipping and send it to him. But Berlizzi, come on, man. You gotta make better decisions. But wow, the AI played that pretty well. I think the game, well, maybe there's some hidden decision that I just blanked on, but I think the game hoped that might have had Jedediah and Constance alive. Uh, because they should have just left the room. That's what they did in the other playthroughs I saw where they try to get the perfect ending or a good ending or whatever. Basically, when they do what they did here, minus a few things like shooting homeboy, uh, yeah, they literally just leave the room, never to be seen again. But since they're dead, they're more like more than likely going to get the better ending. Also, I feel like they missed another... Uh, she looks kind of good. Uh, they missed another chance there. It's like if you were a nuisance to him in, what is it, chapter 7, he should be more inclined to stab you because there's less of a connection. But if you listen to him, you were cooperative, or at least didn't go for the gun and didn't have a uh, Max try to break out, then should, uh, you know what I'm saying? If you uh, did those two the right way, like the nice way, he should act this way. But if you did both... He should have shot you as soon as he saw you. He should stab you immediately, right? But nah. The, so that whole chapter 7 is just a waste, right? Besides figuring out what happens, there's literally... It's literally there for no reason. Nothing you do in that not whole hour, 30 minutes, hour does not matter whatsoever. After this, we get to Mac. And this serves literally no purpose. You either A, cross the river and serve it... Serve... Th 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 and suffer a gimmick death to Caleb, which doesn't affect the game at all, or B, stay on the island and never see Max again, which doesn't affect the game whatsoever. The next few minutes are just a checkup on all your still living characters before the end of the game, and the only important one in this playthrough is Jacob because he transforms still sulking about Emma, which uh, at this point I don't get it. Uh, well, no, I do, but it is what it is. And now we get a uh, Caitlyn's battle with Caleb. And she chooses the beat. Maybe I'm just a fucking oh idiot. Now, so now that she chooses this, I guess this is the most efficient or the story way to survive this. As I survived it off of pure luck. With a... Uh, see, like this. Oh, you can't exactly just 180... <laughs> Yeah, Caleb, Caleb clumsy as fuck. I guess you can't 180 no scope his ass with the shoddy there, but. So here you have a choice, run through there or go in the kitchen. I think I went in there with Dylan and the kitchen has the, ba no? Was it run or hide? I guess you go down here. Oh wait, Emma didn't call for her. Oh, there it is. There you go. So you can go there or you can hide in the kitchen. The kitchen has the bear. Uh, Emma has the show. Now, the YouTube thing to do is to go to Emma so you can land a shot. But of course, you don't know that. She doesn't go to Caitlyn. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. There's only one way for her to survive this now. Which, this is what I did. Except for I was in here with uh, Dylan. Yo, that motherfucker got a sense of smell on him, bro. Which is crazy how he can sniff her and know she's inside from outside and track her into here. But then he gets this close and he has no idea where she is because she's holding her. Hand.
All right, now is that a counter? Is that eyeshadow? That black stuff for her eyes? Kind of hitting, even through the, <laughs> even through the blood stains on the face, I guess. Sneaks around. Okay, she's nailing it. Now there's one thing left to do. Oh, sneaks to the freezer. Now me, I would have climbed in the freezer. Is she about to climb in? Oh, she does. GG's. Well, Caitlyn is dead. I thought the AI kept the bear, but they didn't. And I was playing around with this rag. And it probably just popped up in the audio. I'm so sad. But they didn't. And now we get a bonus chapter where you can, where you get a chance to earn the good ending. So we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? I'm about to say, I mean, she survived dying this like two, three end. times now. Not for you. You've got a lot to answer for when this is over. <laughs> All right, enough T posing. Let's get this over with. It all makes sense now. Oh, it was full. Wolf blood? Is it a tree? in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Is he going to give it to um, her? You should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, I can't. I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. You know, as much as I give Ryan a uh, shit here, it it sounds in character for him to do this that. This is yours. Oh, I chose it. I gave it to Laura. I was like, yo, fuck Ryan. Like, I, I sure. A Wakanda forever, you know what I'm saying? Type B, brother this. from another mother. But I couldn't. Ryan was just, I oh, don't know. His character was just into me. Now, I feel like that was, of course, the whole thing scripted. But uh, but that seems oddly in character. I feel like, uh, especially after you see how much he white knights for uh, Chris, which wouldn't really bother me. as Like, of course, it's annoying. But what bothered me is that he white knights for Chris while simultaneously disbelieving the blatant shit that he's seeing, despite being the only one that believed in the cryptid shit before the cryptid showed up, right? Like, that whole stuff was just against his character, and then him being a Yeah, so he's like ride or die for his friends type B, and I guess... Well, she was looking after him. I don't know why. But she looked after him a lot in the whole house chapter. So, yeah, I, that, that seems in character for him. Ugh. Well, at least he's going to survive. Pungent. Rather stinky than dead. I mean, not. De I'm, I'll sure, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> in theory. And the motherfucking headphones is still on. The head. <laughs> Them headphones don't go nowhere. They fell from like a, I don't know how many feet that would be. What a hundred, you know, probably a hundred foot drop. Them have motherfucking headphones still there. God damn this place! Stabbed. Is cool vibes. Headphones still there. Justice. You know half of it. And he mentions the. He has the son. goal. He has the goal to mention the fucking podcast here when he's denied everything the fucking podcast was about the entire fucking game. Are you serious? Really? The, 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 he's been bears that's not, I don't know what I saw. The whole fucking game. And he gets here and now he wants to mention the podcast. The podcast would have been very fucking helpful when before Nick, you know what I'm saying? Nick turned into a werewolf. The podcast would have been very fucking helpful to, you know what I'm saying? When uh, Dylan got his arm nearly bitten the fuck off. That would have been very helpful. But now you mentioned it with fucking eight ten minutes left in the fucking game right in a bonus chapter really Nick? i thought she was i thought max hit her but then i was out here and she was something else who the woman the old woman she was saying something over and over again oh my god she was saying silas that's impossible who you're talking about i saw her too 
in the run tunnels. What was her name? Boris. There we go. Uh, apparently, she's liar. really popular. She's been in a few movies, think. like popular movies. Well, actually, everybody in this game has been in a few movies. Well, sounds better than owner. Apparently, what, Emma's what, in Grown Ups too. He was a feral child she found, and then kept in a cage like a goddamned animal. If Kaylee had in a cage, huh? I should <laughs> forget I said anything. Well, you just stopped us from getting some information. Really? You're still high? But the lore... Oh, wait, wait. Let's see if she gets it out of him. Getting stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee you, Hackett. You antagonized him. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. He has a point, but she All was a she fucking werewolf. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. And you just had to lock her, lock her up. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? Just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn? Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. We could just kill Caleb. No, we're killing Silas. Ironically, in this playthrough, uh, Caleb's still alive. Is it? Is Had a. I th like I said, I think they got hold there because uh, what's her name? Caitlin Brenda should have had the bear to distract Caleb to go into the freezer instead of her being there. But also, if she went to Emma, she would have got the silver shell and had just enough time to shoot Caleb. Jesus Christ. Assuming you land a QTE. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. You found the cage. The fuck is Ryan doing? Oh, I didn't even know you could explore here. Oh no, 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 that happens regardless. Never mind. <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry, that was close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Sam. What is it? Silas the dog boy. Mmm. This is supposed to be the moment where you're like, oh, it all that makes sense. Careful. <sighs> there he is, Silas the dog boy, in there chilling. Just got hit by a motherfucking car. Fucking Jesus Christ. My God. That shit hurt. Wrong. Yeah, I, that, that is the same thing. I was like, why you hesitate? Shoot that thing. What are you waiting for? Shoot your stupid girl! Why'd you give her the gun in the first place? Yo, blast her <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Laura! Do it. He's just a boy! He's responsible for so much death. Says you! Do it! She didn't, no. she didn't shoot! Now she's gonna the gun. Why would you do that? Oh, they sold. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Oh, you shot him! Wow! They finessed me. 
Bro, it looked like she sold there. It's like, why would you go through all that? You know the. Come on. She did it. They got the good ending. The curse is over. Woo! The curse is over, baby. I think the AI did really well. I felt like they got hoed out of a. Uh, I felt like they got hoed out of a. Oh, I gotta turn this on. She's gonna freak out. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my son. I didn't even play! I've been with you all night. No, you haven't! I'm not about to stop now. It's our first time seeing you! It's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise. Whenever she dark, hears a noise in the dark. Whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck. That's gonna be me. Mm. I'll be there. <laughs> not for long. No, <laughs> hey, hey according to the life expectancy you. average, you got like 10 more years, Shawty. No. Uh, put a curse on us. All right, so yeah, I think they did pretty well. All right, let's see. There's a recap just in case I, I miss anything. All right, they did a really good job, the AI. And I didn't set this. They get because you can only set it to everyone lives, everyone dies. So this got a good mix. The uh, Bobby Hackett, Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. That happened in my play three too. I get it. Constance, oh, that's Jedediah. Jedediah died to his son. That's crazy. So did Constance. Yo, he went on a rampage. He made sure he got a. He was like protect the KD ratio. Chris, yep, favorite Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan shot him with silver. Nick was shot by a uh, Laura, which I don't know why she felt bad for that. Mistook him for Chris. Kaylee Hackett, that's the only death in a game that you co you can't prevent whatsoever. Met her device when Nick tore her head from her body. Poor, she died to Emma in my playthrough. Jacob survived. His curse was permanently lifted thanks to Laura killing Silas. So he got bit by Silas. He got bit by Silas too in the thing. Okay, and his arm is saved. Max swam back to the mainland where Hungry Caleb was waiting for him. That's probably the shittiest death in the game. Because Emma survived the nice and the safe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably the shittiest death in the game because most people probably either A, want to go help. Dylan was soldered by Savage Caleb just before morning. Wow. So they had. Nick, okay, Caleb, he's a fucking kid. So they had Nick, Abby, Dylan, and Caitlyn die, but they got the best ending. Wow, the AI actually did trash. I'm. It's crazy how uh, I said everyone pretty average, but I said Jacob to be as stupid as he portrays himself, and he ended up surviving. But wow, because. They didn't get the silver shell or the bear, which I really think they should have gotten the fucking bear, ironically. Caleb ends up killing Dylan, which they did a terrible job of explaining that. If that would have happened in my playthrough, I would have been very pressed, but, um, wait, if he changed, that makes no sense. That, that makes no sense. Hold on. Wait, Dylan transforms in the junkyard. Why would he go back to the house and there's no, there, of course he would be hunting over it. Well, no, 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 that makes no sense. When Nick transforms, he doesn't come back to the cabin. When Jacob transformed, he didn't come back to the cabin. When, you know what I'm saying? Silas doesn't come to the cabin. Caleb pretty much only comes there solely for game reasons. Why the fuck? Because the only explanation would be there is that Dylan transforms into the werewolf, comes to the cabin for either some stupid reason involving for plot reasons or to come get Caitlyn like he's following Silas to come hunt. And then, nah. 
I can't remember if that scene happens before or after you shoot Chris. No, it'd be before. Yeah, it'd be just before. So he would be in there, you shoot Chris, he'd transform back, and then Caleb would kill him. Right? But that makes no sense. If everybody else, when they transform, ran off into the woods, why wouldn't he? So Dylan. Dylan should have been. Wait, what? Didn't they say Dylan was okay? I'm gonna have to watch that back. What the fuck? I'm pretty sure they had Dylan wake up in the woods. And then they spun the block and said he died in the thing. What? I'm so confused. I have no idea. Uh, I feel like there's some things that I, I'm missing out here that I should have explained. But nonetheless, uh, I did this just to see how the AI would do in their own playthrough. And I think they did pretty well. Um, pass. There are some things that they ended up... Uh, Nonetheless, uh, I think they did pretty well. I think they uh, did really well. Uh, they did slightly worse than me. I had two characters die. Main characters, playable characters die. Uh, they had four plus the entirety of the Hackett family besides Travis and Caleb. So, uh, yeah, uh, they did pretty well. Uh, in my playthrough, Abby died when I missed a quick time event on Emma and Emma chases her down to kill her and then I left a uh, homeboy what's his name Jacob in the cage with Nick and Jacob just was just in shock and didn't try to run from I mean he wouldn't have gotten away regardless but he was just in shock and just willingly died to Nick and then after that uh we saved everybody Jedediah died because I felt like it was a him or me situation and I killed him uh, with Laura, uh, when it comes to, what's his name, uh, what's that guy's name, fuck, uh, Bobby, I felt like it was him or me, so I stabbed him with the knife, so he died to homeboy, and yeah, everybody else, survived. oh yeah, I killed Caleb by freezing him to death, so yeah, I think they did pretty good, and yeah, that's gonna do it for this one i'll be streaming something i don't know if i'm gonna sit through another five hours of this <laughs> of this playthrough again i i've i've watched it enough i'm probably gonna end up watching rdc play it which i don't think they're gonna finish it so yeah and uh we'll be streaming later on when this comes out this should come out on day four so the fourth of december um I didn't say anything Christmas related in this. I'm sorry. But hey, until we meet uh, then in the stream or in the comments. Remember, if you don't, man, because we know we are. Oh, did the AI do better than y'all? Also, let me know about that. But yeah, until then, remember, if you don't, man, because we know we up next. Sponsored by Atari. And... Oh! Join the big hopping. The octopus said the same thing to Yoshi. It's about being patient. It can be a moment. So snap out of it. You can't let a couple of losses blow you off course. You don't have to win now, just someday. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Well, it kills the octopus.